back at the garden house. Me on my own today, Saturday. And I am going to tile the feature wall. So I've received the tiles. Uh, I think it was yesterday, yesterday morning it got delivered. All the way from Wells. Uh, these are brick slips. Although they might not necessarily be defined as brick slips, well, they're, they're labeled as brick slips, but so they're usually sort of two types. So the most common brick slip is, is sort of really sort of like a, if you imagine a brick that's sort of been cut down. <clears throat> so it sort of really is sort of like the same sort of brick, whereas these are actually tiles. So they're a porcelain tile. Um, they've got the texture and all this stuff. Um, I think these are actually going to be better for this for, for a couple of reasons. Uh, one of them is we're putting this onto plasterboard walls and the brick slips are quite heavy because they are about an inch thick and they're a lot more weighty than the, than the tile version which is uh, I think it's 10 mil thick um, so there's less weight on the wall per square meter so I've sort of calculated it out and definitely decided that this was a better idea. Um, I think with these as well, you've got the option of using grout over cement. I'm still divided over what I'm going to use on that. So I'd like you guys views on that. What do you think? When I tile this, should I use cement to grout it? Um, just point it like I would normally do or should I use grout um, as it's a tile? Um, yeah, so it sort of would be like a, a dark grey cement or a dark grey grout. So let me know what you think about that. But I'm going to quickly show you guys what the tiles look like and my plan for how I'm going to do this today. Alright guys, so these are the tiles from Italy, all the way from Italy. As you can see it says brick generation. This is the tile if anyone's interested in it. Um, yeah, so basically I've got quite a few boxes of these. There's just three boxes here. Um, I'm just going to open one up if I can and uh, let's have a look. So we can see the thickness here, nine and a half mil. So what's also interesting about these, these obviously come from Italy. They're not the standard UK size brick size. They're slightly different. So they're slightly, just ever so slightly narrower this way in height, but they are slightly wider. So um, yeah, it's not the sort of your, I mean, the UK has got different size bricks, but the typical brick size would be six and a half centimeters by, uh, 21 and a half centimeters wide. So they're a bit wider, but a little bit thinner. Right, so that's the back of the tile. You can see for the adhesive, so it can grip. And this is the front. So you can see the texture patterns on it. And you can see the thickness of them. So the idea is I'll be applying adhesive to areas of the wall. The other good thing, the other reason why I went for these as well is that they're thinner. They can they can actually fit on the skirting board, whereas the other one would have been thicker than the skirting board, because the skirting board is about 20 mil wide, 18 mil, and the brick slips would have stuck out further, so I would have had to sort of box it in, bring the skirting board out and stuff. Whereas these can actually go straight onto the skirting, as you can see. So I think that actually looks better. Um, still undecided about the painting. Someone did suggest about painting that part of the skirt in black. Again, what do you guys think? Or should we just leave it white and paint the, you know, all the skirtings white or just that bit in black? I don't know. Let's see. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna mix up some uh, adhesive. Um, also, uh, so I'm gonna get my center line. I'm gonna work from that so I can get it equal either side. Also, um, spacers. So typically with spice spacers, you know, with bricks, you would have like a 10 mil would be your gauge between your, your bricks. So 10 mil spaces, I've, you can't really get in most shops. You sort of have to order that online. But what I did decide to do, which I think is a better idea, is to use some joint, uh, movement joint uh, foam or expansion, expansion foam. So this is 10 mil, as you can see, 10 mil. Uh, and what I can do with this actually is I can cut it down into thinner strips I can get about maybe four strips out of this and then basically use that between between the row and lay the tiles on that and then another strip on the next one and up and up and up and then once it's set then just pull the foam out so that's what I think I'm going to do this idea I've come up with and I think that will work 
nicely. So I'm gonna cut a couple of strips out of this and then mix up some, some adhesive and I'm gonna start applying it. So I've mixed up, mixed up my batch of uh, tile adhesive. That's about half bag. I reckon about half bag should do this wall or, or maybe a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> I think I've got about six and a half square meters to do. And this bag says on flat walls, it will give you two square meters per kilogram. And we've got 20 kilograms in the bag, so that should be 20 square meters. So um, we'll see if it gives us that much. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to crack on. Alright guys, so this is what we're looking at so far. I think it's coming on good. It's working. Um, you can see the... Well, I've jammed this in there. Let this set for a bit and then I'll take them off. Um, I think this, this is, is grabbing it quite well anyway and the tiles are not that heavy so it shouldn't be long before I have to take it off. But um, yeah, it seems to be working. Right guys, just a quick update. Just want to show you what it's looking like. This is where I'm at now. I think I am just about almost halfway probably uh, two more strips or maybe one more strip and then I'm halfway. But um, this is what it's looking at at the moment. Show you guys a little bit close up. Where you can see we are taking, taking them off. She gives you an idea what it looks like. It does look like a brick wall. I think it looks quite good actually. So I'm quite happy with it. And the spacing is working very nice with this. It does set quite quick, it's, it's really grabbing. So by the time I've done sort of four courses, then I can sort of take these strips and move the one from the bottom up to the top and up to the top and up to the top. So yeah, it's just, it's just coming out all right. I am sort of doing these sort of eyeballing the, the perps. So I'm sort of doing that without spaces, but it's looking good. Yeah, I think I can sort of do that good enough. 
Um, got spaces, but yeah, just spacing here, so. Happy days.
Hi everyone, I'm done. I've managed to get it done. Yeah, so it took a long time. It's uh, really tedious. Obviously looking at your lines, checking lines, checking levels and all that stuff. Um, but the, uh, the foam, the foam uh, plan did work out. That worked out perfect. It would stick to the adhesive nicely. It would stay in place. And I was able to lay my bri um, bricks on top. Also, we pretty much exactly fit it in. Um, don't ask me if I planned it to work out that way, but we're spot on with the with the gauge to the top to the floor. So yeah, let me just have a quick look at it. All right, guys. So this is what it's looking like. Um, it's really sort of hard to see the light in here, but I guess as I get a bit closer, because it is dark outside now, so it's just the light inside. And this is what the wall is looking like. I think it's come out fantastic. If I do say myself, you can see here, looking down the line, and you can see the top here. It's perfect at the gap for the ceiling. And it sits nicely on the skirt in there as well. So I've done it all the way to the edges. So you can see tight to the edge there. So once it's grouted, I can just put a bit of sealant around the edges. And that should be it, job done. So let me know what you think guys of this one. What do you think? How did it come out? I think it's come out really good. The black is a really good color, it matches. And uh, the tile itself is a really nice tile. You can see the brick texture. But because it's porcelain, it's sort of slightly glazed. glazed. It's, not, it's, not, it's not very, it's sort of satin, but it has a slight glaze on it. And that sort of, sort of present, prevents it from sort of flaking dust like a normal brick would over time. You would need to seal it. And also less like to sort of graze yourself on it. Um, it's not as rough as a brick would be, you know, a sand and cement brick or clay brick. Yeah, so that's it. Job done. So anyway, guys, I hope you like this video. Let me know what you think. And um, I'll see you on another one. Take care.